From the outset, Teresa and her husband, Louis Ferry, decided they'd use their architect's framework as the basis of a style that's all their own. Both love French and Italian culture and design of every kind, which Jonathan picked up early on. Welcome to Le Bon Place. Teresa has been kind enough or brave enough to lend me her baby for our grand entrance to top building style. As you can see, this is no ordinary residence. <laughs> it's home to a high-flying yet grounded couple who love sharing the best international wines from their cellar as much as they do having a poiki competition with their friends. Sharing their life with others is a great happiness. <laughs> What are you doing, Jonathan? I'm slow motion walking. <laughs> Come on, look at your car and the house looks like a movie set. Have you never slow motion walked no, to your no. house before? No, I've never. Come on, it's you've always got to the do first it. time. Liberate. <laughs> okay, go for it. Seeing his clients enjoy their house is very fulfilling for architect Danny Stradham. Meet the guy and made everything happen. This is Danny. How are you, Danny? Did you enjoy our movie entrance there? Yes, I did, I did. The site has got a narrow street front uh, and it's also facing north, north and that's why we've decided to make the entrance on the southern side of the house so that we can uh, the driveway be on that side and then when you come into the house in this portion and look through there you see only the garden not the driveway itself. Whilst some of us might buy an art print reflecting our dream setting, Teresa has created hers. But it really is the type of house that demands an entrance like we just showed you over there. Yes, Jonathan, you're right. Uh, the house is spectacular. Uh, if you look on the inside, all the detail, and uh, same on the outside. We've got a street cafe on that side. It's really like walking into a movie set. The entrance hall has strong influences of Venetian architect Palladio. Within that, Teresa has expressed a wealth of personal creativity. Well, Teresa, the first thing that strikes me is this real feel of romance in the French province. There's a lot of love. When my husband and I started this journey four years back, we wanted a home that is warm, loving, welcoming, and we do entertain quite a lot. So we wanted them to feel warmth when they come here. Most of the furniture I painted myself and most of the interior I also did by myself. The painting on the left was a specific uh, restaurant we went to in Venice. When we came back, we came upon this painting, what is exactly the same restaurant we visited. So we, we bought it. She's a hopeless romantic. <laughs> I love it. A former hairstylist, the lady of the manor is as adept at interior design as she is with a new coif. What I love most about your home is you can't pigeonhole the style. There's a whole lot of influences. There's a bit of France, there's a bit of Italy. That's why when we entered the home, it felt like a movie scene. There's a lot of bit of everything all over. Beautiful places, different, everything is a surprise. You don't know what you're getting from the next corner. So I put a lot of different things together. But you've got a different design philosophy and it works. It did. Like this church pew over here, which you've the used in the, in the dining room table. Yes, the story <laughs> about this church bench is that when we bought the house from the previous owner, we said we will buy this house but only in one condition, the bench stays. Absolutely, well it works. It works <laughs> beautifully. I've never seen a dining room table with a church pew before. And you will not believe how many people you can fit in here. And we will sit here and wine and dine and the children will play outside. And it's just, it's so lovely. And, and especially in the summertime. In winter time, we enjoy the fireplace. In the summer, everything is open. Beautiful. But I'd love to know more about your DIY stuff because I know you're crazy about it. And there's some simple things we can do at home which are really quite easy. This is an old piece that I got and I, I stripped the previous um, fabric. I sanded it off and um, I used antique white and I brushed it. And we end up with, with this masterpiece and you will not believe how many people thought that I bought this in one, some expensive um, furniture shop. Okay, repurposing is really quite easy to do and you can do it with furniture, you can do it with uh, picture frames and I see you've done it in the kitchen as well, on the ceiling. Yes. What I did is, yeah, when we, when we bought the house, it was quite dark and I didn't like it. It was too hot, so I wanted to look softer. We used the paint technique there. As you can see, it will reflect light and dark, but it's still a lot, lot lighter than it used to be. Well, that's what's so important about making a house a home is personalising items, the thing yes. that means a lot to you. Now you've taken that to a new level by literally bringing an entire Venetian street side cafe into your house. Yes. That I believe is going to be my favourite part of this home. <laughs> Mine too, eh? 
It seems you never have to travel to Venice again because you've got your nice little romantic getaway right outside your kitchen. Yeah, Jonathan, this is a, this is a lovely area to, to sit and uh, relax in the afternoon and have a cup of coffee with my wife. But I can't take any credit for this. It's something uh, that Teresa has done and she got the vision for this. Building a dream home obviously comes with a lot of challenges. So what was the biggest challenge when building this house? I would say the main bedroom, but uh, let's go up and I'll show you. As well as her own home, Mrs. Faree loves helping friends rearrange and decorate their own interiors, especially now that hers is complete. Teresa, well, clearly challenges is something that you thrive on because this is absolutely beautiful. We knocked down the wall to create a bigger space. We did a fireplace, we wanted to create warmth. We've got a beautiful romantic bathroom that looks over the garden. And then the best of all, walk-in wardrobe. With artful railings either side of the freestanding bath, this design is luxurious and practical. Where Teresa has chosen to go all out is her dressing room, which feels more like walking into Tiffany's in New York. Well, I'm looking out over your rolling lawns and I'm seeing a putt-putt course at the end there. Yes. So I'm not going to leave you out without having one or two putts, you realise that? No, yes, I do, but please, let's go have some fun. <laughs> okay. Clearly a sports lover, Louis went to the Monaco Grand Prix last year, but didn't forget to bring back a set of antique cutlery for Teresa. His cars, however, are another matter. So, Jonathan, yeah. who drove my Ferrari today? <laughs> He's just touching some of that.